All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely actors. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Actor Brian Scott Stevens. Now it's your spotlight. This Fourier decided to ride to the sunset, or that the powers that be in Columbia will decide to make a change. Chief Fourier will not be Ray Tanner will not fire Chief Fourier the athletic director. Okay. Won't happen. Well, good. It'll be a situation of speed. Do we have something to build on with you in the next few years? Hey, what's up, world? It's your boy, actor Brian Scott Stevens here. I wanted to tell you briefly about an interesting story that happened. Uh, this was a couple years ago, before I had my condo. Uh, my boy Big Will, who works behind the scenes in, um, in movies, um, he asked me if, if I could let someone stay in my apartment that I was living in um, uh, back in the day. Uh, to kind of set the and paint the picture for you, um, my apartment I had a couple of available rooms uh, available that like we weren't doing anything with. Um, it was just me and um, and one other roommate, and we had and we had two other rooms that we had just available. So from time to time, we would just let people just just stay over at our place for like a month or two while they got their self situated and then they would just move out you know and and go on uh, go on with their lives which is not bad i mean you know, it, it didn't affect us because it didn't cost us any any more and it was helping them out for the time being well uh, my boy big will he he said um can you help out uh, this one girl she 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 needs some help i was like okay so, so she stayed over um, at our place for like I would say what a, a, a week or two. And the big wheels like, oh yeah, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, she's a she's a homeless stripper. It's like, homeless stripper. How do you become a homeless stripper? <laughs> it sounds like someone's not doing something right. It, 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 it just doesn't make any sense. And, and then she explained the story. She said that, I guess, uh, she she got too too drunk at a, at a bar one night when she was, I guess, supposed to be dancing. And she just crashed out and just fell asleep in the middle of the of the floor <laughs> and she was just drinking too much she got fired and uh and before that uh no she came here to try to work for disney world uh for 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 disney which is just an interesting combination of of the sorts and she got fired from that job so so like dang you're just getting in you're just rolling in into all the all the stuff um, so needless to say, um, I, I did, I did hook her up with the, with a job on, um, Ace Ventura Jr. Um, it, I mean, it was just like one day, um, but, but still, that's just interesting to think about. I'm going to go more into Ace Ventura Jr. filming on, on another day, obviously, um, since it's not in order of, of the actual uh, videos of when I did it. Um, but but I remember one time me and my boy Judah, we were um, we got like some free drinks or something like that, and we were like working on an interview um, for, for for like someone's magazine, and then she walked in and she was like, oh, where did you guys get those drinks from? And we said, oh yeah, we got it in, inside the clubhouse. So she left, went over there. And then came back and she's like, I didn't see any drinks. So me and Judah both looked in, looked at her and was like, um, did you, did you go inside the clubhouse? She's like, oh, we were like, whoa, wow, 
this girl doesn't get it. <laughs>